everyone, my name is Elaine, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about plus 198ing your gear and the best way to do that. First step is to make sure you're prepared to do this. And you do that by going to the little door icon on the bottom of your screen, scrolling down to other, going to options, and then making sure value details is on. And you're doing this because if you don't, you'll only get up to 199. You won't be able to see what side the plus values are on and therefore you won't be able to 198 properly. So after you've done that, we're just gonna go into our gear and I'm gonna show you how to do this and the best way to do it. Oopsies, I meant into augmenting, not into my gear. I guess technically by augmenting you're going into your gear, but that's how we would do that. You go into augmenting, I'm being silly. All right, when I first started playing, I thought the smartest thing to do would be to put the 99, 98, whatever I was doing, I usually just did it in little partitions, uh, into the piece of gear I wanted to 198 directly. Cause that, that makes sense, right? That's smart. And I guess it does make sense, like logically speaking, but it's the, not the best way to do this. And I'm going to show you why. I am going to just demonstrate on a piece of gear. I have a few here that are both level one. I'll click on this one first. So let's say we want to augment it with one plus one thing. That costs 600 gold apparently. That seems slightly overpriced, but whatever. Now I'm going to try to do the same thing on the level one rare piece of gear. That costs 625. And although this isn't a great jump, it adds up after a while. A, B, this scale. So the higher level the piece of gear, so let's say this were at level 10, it would cost more than to augment it at this point. So that's one reason why you wanna get a lower type of gear and put all of the things you're adding to it into that as opposed to a higher end piece of gear like what I used to do when I was a noob. I'll save a lot of money and this is really important if you're a new player and you don't have a lot of the resources that a veteran would have. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this. I usually don't follow my own advice. I usually put things in like an SR, but here's a rare I haven't finished. I'm going to add one of the tapsies I just showed you. Basically, I have them um, unlocked, thankfully. Tapsies are these things that you get usually from box spawns. You can also, I'll go back to my main page. If you click on the little TV in the top left, potentially get them after watching an ad. I'm not going to click on it because I'm pretty sure no one wants to watch an ad right now. And there's only a slight chance that you can get a tapsy. Sometimes you get augment mats. But anyway, that's some of the ways you can get them. Usually, like I said, you get them from box spawns. Um, this is an earthly tapsy. As you can see, when we go back out, they have the plus one on the right side. The heavenly tapsy has the plus one on the other side. There is a bigger version, heavenly gold tapsy. This is the uh, mid tier, actually. There is one bigger than this that unfortunately I don't have to show you. We get it once in a blue moon, usually from an event that actually does 99 plus on one side. So if it's the earthly kind, it'll be on the right side. If it's the heavenly kind, it's on the left. That will affect the first stat, which I'll get into later. And whatever is on the right affects the second stat, which again, I will get into later. So right now I'm just gonna throw these tapsies into this Valio. I like to use things that are monsters usually. So pieces of gear that are monsters because I don't have to flip through all the pages with the new format saves me a little bit of time. It also helps me keep from forgetting that I've started a piece of gear. It's important to note that tapsies aren't the only way you can get the plus one pieces of gear. You can actually get them from regular pieces of gear like clothing, other monsters, other pieces of helmets and weapons. I'm just gonna add them to my Valio now make some room in my inventory. And you can get those from spawns. You can get them from drops in regular quests. Usually you don't usually get them in the special event quests because you're getting other items. You can also go to your spawns, go to the item section and hit the FP. That's your friendship points. You can get plus one items here. It's probably the fastest way outside of getting it from an event in a box spawn or paying for it from an exchange in an event, which will happen periodically. Now I'm going to unlock two of these and show you why we're doing this. And just in case you didn't catch my last beginner video, what I'm doing is clicking this little star icon. 
When it's starred, it's favorited. I can't do anything with it, so I toggle it off so I can actually do something with it. I'm going to try to find a piece of gear now that I haven't 99 already, which, you know, now that I'm getting to veteran status is a little difficult, but let's, let's do this one. Doesn't even matter. So I'll put one of my finished ones in there. Okay, get rid of that. Oops, nope. That one. There we go. So, as you can see now, it's 198. And we did that because it's raising the base stats. You're getting 990 total, and that can be helpful. I'm going to do this again in another piece of gear. And then I'm going to toggle over to a monster, which is what this is most beneficial for. Again, paying a fee one time, and I get some stats. Great. Now, it's really important to do this for monsters first because you're gaining those extra stats. Why is that important? Well, when you're in a guild battle and you're facing off against a another guild. Having those extra stat points can give your team a boost, which you need to win unison battles, which will in turn help you win a guild battle. After you've done all the 198 and you can with your monsters, it's important to go back and do that with your gear. Usually you'll get a new monster and you'll do that with the new monster and getting to the point where you're doing this with gear takes a while, but you can add it to your gear for extra stats. I mean, it's only basically a thousand at a point, but after a while that adds up and you'll have a stronger character for it. I mean, if you just look at my character right now, for example, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten weapons. One, two, oops, three, four, five hats, so 15 right now, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23 pieces of gear on my account, and I'm not fully leveled, I'm not maxed out on my level, that I'm adding this extra 1,000 points to. For the most part, I'm not done. Obviously, like you see this one in my lead, I haven't done it for yet. But that's over 20,000 stat points that I didn't have before just by doing this 198 thing. And again, it's great because it gives you that little edge that you need, especially on your monsters, to help win battles and to keep getting stronger, keep growing. So there you have it. That's everything that you need to know about 198ing the proper way. Basically, put all those little tapsies and all those plus ones or plus tens or plus 99s in a lower level piece of gear that hasn't been augmented at all because you won't pay as much. And that's important for newer players who don't have as many resources. Thanks everyone for watching this video. Please note that any corrections and or clarifications will be listed down below in the description section. And if you like what you saw here today, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd always like to know what you guys think down below in the comments. Also, hit that notification bell so you know what's up, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye guys!